less days. Uh, pretty much, you just had to have a heartbeat to get along. Um, so we changed that and basically figured out a way to give these loans to good borrowers that can qualify. So the potential out there um, for the good loans that were out there, uh, you know, it was it was close to uh, 2.5 trillion um, in in basically volume. And the potential that's coming right now, we're only very, barely breaking the surface between about one or two percent of what that potential could have been could be if we did take 10, 10 to 15 percent of that potential out there. Um, so what is the what is Amy Loeb's averages? Our average FICO is 742. Our average LTV is 71 percent, and our average DTI is 30 percent. So it's a lot different than basically back in the Wild Wild West days. Uh, you were more like a 580 score. Um, you were more 0% down. And then, of course, the DTIs, we really didn't have any because the majority of the products were stated out there back then. Um, so now, just to jump in here, why should you care about non-QM? Obviously, um, why you should originate. Be the standout resource. You don't really want any of your referral partners going down the street trying to get a loan because somebody knows how to do non-QM. So you got to differentiate yourself. You want to basically, you know, get that, be that person that they're calling down the street. Uh, differentiate yourself. Do these loans before your competitors learn how to do them. And we can help you do that. Increase your earnings. So you're going to be able to save agency call out. Residual income for a two for one. Some of these are temporary packages until you can get traditional bonnies. Okay. Strengthen the relationship through your referral partners. Again, you, you don't want them going down the street. And then, of course, investors uh, with us, basically, you can close loans in the LLC, title in the LLC, and then there's no limit on properties that you can own. So you can have as many finance properties as you want for this product. So what's the cost of uh, not providing non-QM options? Referrals, relationships, loan, immediate earnings, clients. Your borrower could be yours for life, but they may be going down the street if you don't take care of them. So keep that in mind when you're before you turn away these, these uh, borrowers. So of course, the huge potential for closing more loans um, out right now. There, there's about 36% investors out there, um, and then of course uh, those investors about 10, 10 to 11 million. Um, if you guys any any of you guys know about the Fannie and Freddie cap that's putting on the 7%, a lot of the people, investors are looking for other ways to get loans because they're not able to go through their through their traditional uh, financing right now because of these caps. Self-employed, 36% of the country is, is self-employed and I think that number is growing. And then of course, uh, people with adverse credit events, you got 5 million plus people that, um, you know, had foreclosures since 2014. And then of course, 5 million filings since 2014. So get ahead of the looming curve of the refinance boom. Everybody probably had uh, did a lot of refis in the last 12 months. Um, so it's probably been, been some of your biggest months ever. Um, 2020 it was about 2.1 uh, trillion. Refinances, refinance volume is supposed to go down to about 1.2 trillion. That's half. So if you like the money that you made last year, you got to figure out how to continue to have that income coming in, and this is one of those sources that you can use. And then of course, rates are increasing, so that's definitely going to slow the, slow the production down even more. So there's a 24% increase between quarter one and quarter four. So rates are on the rise, as you can see. So how can non-QM help you close more loans? Self-employed, jumbo borrowers, credit issue, asset qualifications, investors. Of course, all of these are the, our kind of borrowers that we're looking for. When you think of non-QM and Angel Oak, think about what falls outside of your box of your agency or your typical fan your credit products. We are really here to help you guys grow your business. If you're looking to grow your business, we're a great business partner. That's what we like to do. We look for people that want to grow their business and learn this product and go out and get this business. Okay. So say something a little about, about, about the bank staking program. Um, as y'all saw, our average LTV was 71%. Today versus back in the Wild West days, is skin in the game. People don't walk away when they put their hard-earned money down. So typically, you're going to see a down payment on every one of our products. And then the bank statement's 90% right now. It's 700 or 85 to 660. Remember, our average credit score was 742. So a lot of these loans out there are doing 
90% financing on, on bank statements, 10% down. We can go as far as low as two years out on the BK short selling foreclosure and loans up to $3 million. Uh, Self-employed only, of course, or you can be a 1099 borrower. At least 50% business owner to use business statements. And what that means is um, when, you, when we look at your bank statements, and we're going to talk about what we can do for you and help you uh, uh, basically process some of these loans, but we use 50% of your deposits if it's a business bank statement program. Arbitrarily, we're taking 50%. So if they're depositing 20 grand, that borrower makes 10 grand a month. Okay? We can do that on 12 or 24 month statements, personal or business. Um, and then, of course, we don't want to see tax returns and no 4506T. So proven self employment, 12 or 24 month bank statements, and then we're taking a percentage off the business bank statements in order to figure out um, what their expenses are and their income. Investor cash flow, we talked about this just a little bit. Uh, DSCR, investor cash flow is exactly what it says. It's an investment program and it's based off the cash flow of the, of, of the property. So what we do is you go out, you get an appraisal, get a rent analysis. If that rent analysis comes in at 1500 bucks and your PITI payment is below that 1500, you have no problem. If you're at $1,501, you got to do something to get it below that 1500 okay more money down file rate down whatever it may be um credit store credit score started at 640 four years out on the foreclosure short sale or deed and lieu or bk no employment on the tenant three qualification like we said is based off a of debt service coverage ratio no limit of properties so no employment and no income on your tenant three you're leaving that blank for us okay this is probably the easiest loan to get processed through. You need an appraisal. We need to know where the money comes from. And typically we like to see that they're not a first time um, investor. Do we do first time investors? Of course, we just, it just has to make sense, okay? Um, they must own a primary residence. Uh, you don't have to have a history of being a landlord, but it does strengthen your deal. Like I said, we'll do the first time, first time um, landlords. Loans that can be titled in an LLC, okay? Um, that's titled in the LLC. So let's talk about how you guys can go out and differentiate yourself. These two products that we just talked about, bank statement and investor cash flow. Everybody can run inside of their real estate office and tell them, hey, I've got the best rates, i got the best service. But if you offer something like this, that's gonna differentiate yourself. That's gonna set you aside. Typically, if you talk about a bank statement program or a 1099 program, the real estate agent is thinking about themselves a lot of times. They're thinking that they can get a loan, and then they think about the loan that they lost. Every real estate agent has an investor. So when you're talking about an investment, uh, investor no-doc program, and they can have as many as they want, um, then that's a product that that's going to pique their ears. So again, differentiate yourself. I would say that I would say that bank statement program is about 50 to 60 percent of our business, and the investor cash flow has drawn from 15 to about 25 percent since the last two months, just because of the Fannie and Freddie caps. Um, if anybody's running non-owners on uh, Fannie and Freddie, I'm sure that you've seen the AUS tighten up a little bit out there. Um, I had somebody uh, last month I was doing a presentation, and they said they ran an AUS 30 days before that, re-ran it. They got a refer. They couldn't get it done. So Fannie's going to force you to tighten up and have to go other places for these loans. Again, we talked about the asset qualifier. Uh, purchase only, we can't, or purchase on 75, 70% uh, cash out, scores of 700. This is really an asset based product for your for clients that don't have a job, but they're very liquid. Um, if you have some of these products, uh, or if you have someone, uh, this is a great product and we can give you a little bit more information on it. But for the most part, they got to be able to afford the loan amount and be able to afford their outstanding debt for five years. So if they're paying a thousand bucks in other debt, then that'll be 60 grand that we have to have. Okay. Platinum Jumbo. This is a just miss. Just miss program. Um, up to 95%. So uh, if you're running into the Jumbo, we can actually go 95%, no MI, up to 2 million on this product. Okay? No MI. No MI on that. Correct. 80% um, cash out, 85% interest only. We do offer interest only. We offer 40 year terms. Uh, 
And so uh, that's 10 years into Conley, of course. Um, and then, of course, this one you have to have four years out of the VK short sale, loans up to three million. We allow this on um, all of our products for the most part. Um, owner occupies second home and nine owners on all these products. And if you look down at the bottom, you probably have seen this, but all of our loans are 30 year fixed. Okay? Every one of our loans are 30 year fixed. So these are not ARM products. Um, and the rates are typically starting in the threes uh, on some of these. Okay? So, portfolio select. This is kind of a just miss, I would say more of a just miss FHA or agency. And the biggest one here is going to be one year from a foreclosure short sale or deed in loop, or two years out on the VK short sale. Uh, credit scores down to 620. So that's a product that you may just have somebody that can't qualify for that agency or that conventional product, or they just need a temporary patch until they can get that seasoning requirement and go traditional um, paying your Freddie uh, loan. Then Prime Jumbo, we do offer a true Prime Jumbo product. 90% uh, LTV, no MIs, credit scores at 660, but this one you have to have seven years out for the foreclosure, short sale, BK, indeed, and lieu. Um, and again, we do this on owner occupied second homes and non owners. Purchase, rate term, and cash out. DTL, this one is actually only up to 43. So that's a, just a high level overview of our products. Um, if y'all have any questions about some of those products, I'll, I'll be at the booth and you guys can talk to me a little bit more there. So any scenarios that y'all want to run past, I'll be glad to answer some of those questions. One thing that's very important to us is technology. How can, how can we make this easier for everyone? Um, we don't, right, when we started, it was a very manual process. So what we've done is we created a pricing tool. You can literally go on your phone right now and go to angelmscom and, and put in seven dropdowns and you'll get a LTV and pricing immediately. Seven dropdowns. Somebody calls me and says, hey, what, what LTV can you do on this or what's your rate? I ask them if they're in front of a computer. If they are, great, they look right then. If not, I do it from my phone. So for me, that pricing tool is very resourceful. Um, it does tell you par pricing, tells you your LTV. You may ask for 70, but it'll tell you, hey, you can go up to 90. So it's very intuitive. And this is what it kind of looks like. As you, again, you're asking for loan amount, credit score, LTV, housing payment, property type, transaction type and income type and occupancy. So you hit those drop downs and the website's down at the bottom, angelofms.com backslash quickbook. You can run your scenario, get a, get a potential rate and loan options immediately, which is great when you're on the phone with one of your clients. They say they have a 700 score, they want a bank statement program. Hey, this is, this is your LTV that you can go up to, or if you have a 680, they may, you may be able to say, hey, you need to put 15% down, but we need to do something to get your scores higher, okay? Quick wall. So once you go to the pricing engine, you, actually come, you can actually send that deal to us, and every account executive actually looks at those deals and pre underwrites those costs. Um, we recommend you upload a 3.4. Um, in the near future, we're going to be very transparent with this, with our, uh, this upload. You're going to be able to hit a button and register your file. Today, you upload, or you can upload a PDF, and then basically it'll take you to the next screen. You can actually reissue your own credit and get answers in seconds right there. And then you can also upload the file information. You can drag and drop. You can put as, much, as many um, documents as you want in there. That all securely comes over to the account executive. Um, and then once that AE gets it, then we review it and either approve it, or if it's a bank statement deal, then we'll send it up to a bank statement review team. We can teach you how to calculate the income. So what we do is we have a team that calculates it for you. That team is actually, um, we com completely review the statements, analyze the positive, calculates the income. We wanna basically make sure that before your borrower goes out hunting for a house, that they know what they can qualify for. Our income doesn't change when we do this calculation unless it takes a few months and then he has to provide more statements. Hopefully he's still on pace to do the same. Um, but it's more streamlined process to get your bar to the closing table. Income established, like I said, at the time of the pre qual It diminishes closing, so nothing's going to change in underwriting when it gets there. Okay? Nobody likes to see that. Um, time saved by not having to review the main statements on your own. You can go out and be prospecting and get more business. Of course, this program is focused on business owners and 1099 borrowers that have been self-employed for two years. Um, 
they can't prove the ability to repay it with their tax returns. One thing I'll say about the bank statement program, it gives you more buying power for your self-employed borrower. Just last month, I had somebody that was qualified on a conventional loan at $350,000. Borrower didn't want a $350,000 home. They were self-employed, they sent us the deal, they bought a million dollar property, okay? True cash flow of their business. So the buying power that you're able to give your clients is, to me, unbelievable that if they're self-employed and they have an opportunity. Um, I can tell you most self-employed people are not gonna change their habits. They're writing off things and continue to write off things and they'll continue to write off things. Um, if they were gonna, if they were going to uh, continue not to write off, they would go traditional. But that's just not their mother. They're gonna pay more in taxes. So really rate's not an issue for these guys for the most part. They just wanna get in their house and continue to write off the write off. So. Then, of course, uh, when you're working with us, we have a chat feature. So if you're getting stuck, you can't, you can't get a hold of someone, you can simply just jump into our live chat. Somebody's there to help you all the time, which is always nice, especially when you're trying to submit a deal. Um, and it's accessible on our website within our portal, and you re receive a response immediately. So it's a true chat feature. Um, it's not a chat bot, so there is a difference. Um, and then uh, TPO portal, uh, that's where you can, you basically log into our system. This is where you upload your 3.4, um, you register, you uh, get your disclosures. Of course, if you're a broker, then we're doing those disclosures for you. If you're approving that, we're approving the LE. And that's where you submit your deal and um, and then basically send it to underwriting for the most part. So how can uh, we grow your non fueling business? Again, uh, realtors, other LOs, large banks and credit unions do. Don't be surprised, ask a banker. Not all banks are gonna come in and try to do business with Bank Global. Um, but if they wanna do the right thing for their client, ask them for your, their turn downs if they can't get qualified. CPAs, tax preparers, financial planners, these guys love this. Um, especially when you're talking to a finance planner, financial planner that is, knows that somebody is very um, asset qualified and they have a lot of liquidity, they don't want them pulling that money out of there. They rather say, hey, use this angel oak, they can qual help you qualify for that loan and, and keep your money with me. So those, those financial planners are, uh, will definitely give you referrals. And then of course, business bankers, builders and developers and hard money lenders. Hard money lenders is great. They want an exit strategy. Those fix and flips the guy was just talking about before, this is exactly who we like to follow up behind because they need permanent financing after they do all this. Where are you got permanent financing? And what, we, what we've done from 2013, because previous to 2013, from 2008 to 2013, it was only Fannie and Freddie and hard money. What Angel Logan wanted is to bridge that gap between those two and give options for people that get loans. So that's, that's how all that started. Of course, lead providers, appraisers, and things of that nature. Um, this is just one of our testimonies that we have. Uh, we have a lot of people, I think I was talking to someone outside and they said that they really love that they impact um, their clients. You wouldn't imagine, you can't imagine how appreciative our customers are for being able to get them into a loan when they've been turned down by two or three other lenders. So again, save those loans right there. Um, Barnage yourself. Guess what? When you're a partner of ours, we give you Flyers, you brand it with your name, your logo, your contact information. It's just putting our programs with your name on it. So you're able to go and send those out to your clients. Go drop them off. Um, drop them off at realtors. They see a no doc program or a bank statement program, you're probably going to get a phone call. Okay? Um, we love those and we also have realtor presentations. So we go out, let you brand the brand a PowerPoint with your information. Talk about a couple of our products. I'd probably say the main product you talk about is the bank statement and investor cash flow. Social media posts, whiteboard videos. Those whiteboard videos you can download, they're 60 second videos. You can put them on Facebook, you can put them on anywhere you want. It doesn't talk about Angel Oak. It just talks about a scenario of a self employed guy that can't qualify and then turned down, and you can help. Whiteboard videos are great. Our marketing department does a great job and they're real willing to listen. So if there's something that you want that you don't see or you have an idea, be sure to reach out. We'll do, we'll do whatever it takes to grow your business. So again, differentiate yourself. 
Key characteristics in choosing a non-QM lender, customer centric, non-agency specialists, that's what we are. Our AEs are pre-underwriters for the most part. We don't, we majority, I, I'd probably say 99% of our business is non-QM. Um, you want somebody that doesn't dabble in agency and non-QM. You want somebody that specializes, and that's what we have. We have underwriters that specialize in non-QM. Years of experience. I'm not going to tell you how many years I've been doing this or how many people have been doing this in our company. We're probably over a thousand years all together here. We've got some ancient people. So, easy to work with. End all goal for everybody is to make someone a homeowner, to get the loan closed, have a great experience, not any hiccups. That's typically a good, smooth transaction. That's what you want. You want somebody easy to work with, says what they're going to do. Tell you that your income's 10 grand. We don't, we're not going to cut it to five halfway through the process. Make exceptions. 700 score, 90% bank statements. You come to me, you got a 698. I'm going to send it up for an exception. I'm going to ask. Again, it has to make sense. Um, I'm not looking for a thin credit bar for a 698. I would love to see somebody that's, a, that's not a first time home buyer that's proven themselves. We use those kind of um, those positive things to help make those exceptions. And then, of course, all the resources. We just talked about marketing and things like that. So, again, question and, question and answers. I'm open for questions if y'all have some. Um, can the reserve or down payment come from a gift? Yes, it can. So there's different kind of questions that you guys may have. Um, I'm, will, I'm here willing to answer those. What are, what are your turn times on purchase loans? What about you know, you guys are doing this every day. You know what the biggest obstacle is. It's appraisers right now. Um, I can personally close one if I have a, could we allow transfer appraiser, appraisal? I close one in about 10 business days. Does that happen all the time? No. But can it be done? Yes. Um, we can under, we're typically on 24, 48 hours on all the way through the process. So we can close a loan in 30 days, 20, 15 to 20 business days for sure. Again, depending on your, your appraisal. Some of these guys are taking a little bit longer than usual. Um, as a new LO, it's a good opportunity to create a niche in the newcom environment, given all the potential moves that could be made. So you got to have niche products like these in order to survive right now. Um, you're gonna, you're, this is really good. What's gonna, really what's gonna make you a full gambit. You want, you don't, again, you don't want somebody going down the street trying to get these loans from someone else. So learn these products. We'll be your business partner. Anybody have any questions right now? Mm -hmm. um, how the nine. Can we repeat that question? So, um, how, she was asking, uh, do we allow transfer appraisal and how long? 90 days. Okay. Um, we do have a booth. If you guys want to come up, uh, we are giving away some um, Angel Oak Apple AirPods. Not just off brand, Apple AirPods. So, come by the booth, come by and see us. You got a question? Okay, she asked if there was a restriction on the prepayment penalty. Our investor cash flow, all of our non-owners do have prepays, but you can buy them out or buy them down. So only on non-owners, not on primary or secondary. Okay, it's only on non-owners. But again, if you buy out your prepay totally, I'm going to probably ask you what do you intend on doing with the loan? Um, because you're, we're not a short-term finance type company. We're looking to hold these loans. That's why we offer 30-year fixed. So good question. Anybody else? All right. Be sure to come by the booth. Thank you for your time today. Thank you.